There was a lot of panic in both the people's eyes at that stage. A volunteer lifesaver is also in trouble, tangled in the other end of the rope. By the time I got down there, uh, Clubby had already gone out. So he actually beat me to the patient, which was good because he kept the guy upright momentarily before I came out. The volunteer lifesaver has swum out with a rescue tube, a yellow flotation device with ropes attached. Tubes are really good first responders. They basically just keep the patient upright. It's very hard to complete a rescue with a tube and it's sort of just a temporary relief before the cavalry arrives. That's it. All right. As the man scrambles onto the board, it becomes clear he's tangled in the rope connected to the rescue tube. That tube became a big hindrance because it was like a fishing net, all tangled round. The patient had it around his neck. It was actually making the situation worse. It was pretty horrific. There was a lot of panic in both the people's eyes at that stage. And then I noticed a blue board coming and I think it's one of my colleagues, but I don't recognise him. An off-duty volunteer lifesaver has come to help using a spare lifeguard board from the beach. <laughs> the guy who swam out with the tubes getting rescued. Is this his jog or what? He was coughing up, he was vomiting water, and the tube was wrapped around his body. <laughs> An exhausted patient tangled in ropes. This is not a textbook rescue. I want him on the board so I can untangle him with a bit more stability. He jumps on, shifts his weight. Gone, capsized. A capsized board normally spells more trouble, but this time, Bagus gets a lucky break. Believe it or not, capsizing's in our favour. He's untangled, miraculously. <laughs> I was about to drown. These guys are heroes. It wasn't deep at all. It just pulled me away, you know? I got really close to God. Off-duty volunteer lifesaver Jesse was walking past when he saw the situation unfolding. It can happen very quickly that someone can drown. It's just 10 seconds, you know? And that guy was in a very heavy rip there, so it could have been very serious. That was just one of those ones. He drowned for sure, 100%. The rescue victim may now be safe, but he's a little confused about who the camera crew are. He promised my family up young the Bondi rescue. Same thing, yeah? I just wish I was asking about Bondi, bro. You guys be there tomorrow? Be here tomorrow? Nah, Bondi. Are we, we don't call it now. And then this is Coronola? No, this is Monday Serious? Yeah, this is Monday Thought he was in Cronulla. That's a 30-kilometre. Different train lines and everything. Like, that's a... <laughs> he's way off course. Are you supposed to be in Cronulla? Yeah, bro. You okay, mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah? thanks. So I thought my wife was bad with directions. That is, like, next level. Yeah, so I noticed a little lady. She was trying to swim, but it was actually quite strong that day, and, and it was pushing her out to sea quite rapidly. Yeah, I'm gonna go in. If you fall off the sandbank, usually, and you're not the most confident swimmer, you're gonna find yourself in a bit of trouble, and you'll probably get taken out to sea and panic. Grab on. Pretty strong, eh? Hey? Once she got a hold of my board, I could see the relief in her eyes. You are right? Oh, it's OK. Jump on here to jump on the board. The woman struggles to climb onto the board. I think she may have just been so tired that she needed to first have a rest. We need to get you on. As I was trying to get the lady on the board, jump on the corner of my eye, I see a, uh, a red and yellow volunteer surf lifesavers cap. I thought, well, why not use him? And I'll try and get him to help me get her on the board. <laughs> you want to just help her get on my board? Yeah, it's right. Let's get her on. It appears the volunteer lifesaver wants to do more than just offer assistance. This board, if you want to behind you. Here, jump on. 
And then you, you need to face. All right, okay. she's on with you. There you go. And then before I knew it, she was gone. She she'd latched onto the other bloke's board and uh, she left me high and dry. It sort of never happened to me before. Stole the Mate, she's pinching from me. Yeah, South to Central. What about that? The uh, clubby pinster. Yeah, I had a visual of that, Jackie, mate. <laughs> He was four in a sort of age bracket, so she took more of a liking to him. <laughs> so uh, I got brushed, and uh, she must have seen a twinkle in his eyes because she was straight on the hip board. <laughs> she obviously thought yellow was a better colour and jumped on my board. Minutes later, as volunteer lifesaver John continues to patrol the south end, Jackson spots two more swimmers struggling in the rip. Yeah, just those swimmers, guys, those two out the back, just swim across and onto the sandbanks. Don't swim against the rip. I didn't think they were in need of urgent assistance. I actually thought that I'd be able to direct them through the speaker. Just go the other way, swim this way. We're on pointing. Before I knew it, eager Johnny was out there again. I saw him charging in. I thought, you know what? Good luck to the man. Here comes John. Yeah. Keep swimming that way. You'll be able to stand up. You just keep going that way. Keep going, guys. You're nearly there. You'll be able to stand in two seconds. John arrives just as the swimmers reach the safety of the sandbank. They happened to pay attention to me this time, and uh, John got snubbed. I reckon I just got one back up on him. He's gone now, and he's, now he's coming back empty-handed. Seconds later, a much more serious situation is unfolding. Yeah, I'm going to hurry for these kids. When you see kids going under, you, you don't hesitate. You, you know, like that, you're just straight out there. They were in quite serious distress, so my, my first priority was just to give them something to hold on. The boys cling to the board as the rip takes the group further out. And I see my mate John again. He pops up. You can always count on John. So he was on his way out, and uh, I thought, you know what, this time it's going to be perfect because there's two patients. He can take one, and, and I'll take the other one in. I was just so happy that he was down there, and he was doing his best. You know, those guys, those take time out of their day. They're volunteers. At the end of the day, we've all got the same goal down here, and that's just to avoid fatalities down at Bondi. Now that I've got a good relationship with John, if I see him down the beach again, we'll have a laugh and uh, we'll get back to work. <laughs>